In the ever-evolving landscape of the tech industry, product launches often resemble the premiere of a new symphony, captivating the market with their harmonious blend of innovation and excitement. This time, Huawei's official unveiling of the Mate 60 Pro has left a lasting resonance that mirrors the climax of a musical composition, drawing the attention of tech enthusiasts and industry professionals alike. Huawei's strategic marketing approach has created a buzz of anticipation, fueling speculation and theories across online forums, social media, and traditional media outlets. The Mate 60 Pro has become the center of attention in these discussions, even before the upcoming release of the iPhone 15. This moment marks Huawei's triumphant return to the smartphone arena after a three-year hiatus, positioning itself once again as a formidable challenger to Apple. The key factor generating this excitement is the return of the Kirin 9000S chip, a move confirmed by numerous bloggers and reviewers and one that carries significant implications for the competition. Let's delve into the heart of this showdown by comparing the Kirin 9000S with Apple's A17 chip. The Kirin 9000S boasts an 8-core, 12-thread design with hyper-threading, although details about its manufacturing process and foundry remain elusive. While the chip's 5G capabilities are uncertain, network speed tests have demonstrated its ability to achieve 5G speeds while the addition of satellite calling functionality has stirred considerable discussion. The CPU configuration includes one 2.62 GHz large core, three 2.15 GHz big cores, and four 1.53 GHz small cores, totaling eight cores. Notably, it incorporates hyper-threading technology akin to computer CPUs and integrates the Mali-G 910 GPU a noteworthy addition. In contrast, Apple's A17 chip combines six GPU cores and six CPU cores, manufactured on TSMC's nanometer process, with a high performance core reaching clock speeds of up to 3.70 gigahertz. In terms of raw CPU performance, the Kirin 9000S scores 1056 points in single core and 3700 points in multi-core performance, placing it in the ballpark of the Snapdragon 888. Comparatively, the rumored scores for Apple's A17 chip are 3,200 points in single-core and 7,500 points in multi-core performance, a notable leap from the A16. While it may seem that the Kirin 9000S lags behind by approximately four generations when compared to the A17, it's crucial to consider factors like the efficiency of Huawei's Harmony OS operating system and the surplus performance often present in modern CPUs, which might not translate into significant real-world differences. For those who have experienced the Huawei Mate 60 Pro firsthand, emotions are undoubtedly complex and deeply intertwined. Empathy for Huawei's journey since 2020 is palpable. Facing unprecedented challenges, including the separation of former partners like Honor Mobile, Huawei chose perseverance and innovation rather than surrender. Every decision and breakthrough during these three years is a testament to Huawei's commitment to delivering superior products to the market and consumers. He, Kirin 9000 S chip powering the Mate 60 Pro is both a symbol of Huawei and a product of mainland China. Speculations about the chip's origin abound, with some suggesting that Huawei has mastered the technology to produce 5 nanometer chips independently. Others speculate about collaborations with domestic chip manufacturers like SMIC, Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation. Analyzing a label with 2035 CN, the CN suggests Chinese manufacture, while 2,035 inches hints at production around the 35th week of 2020, coinciding with TSMC's sanctions. This fuels speculation that Huawei may have acquired these chips from TSMC before the sanctions took effect, though this remains speculative. The identity of the Kirin 9000S chips manufacturer remains shrouded in mystery, leading to various speculations. Some believe it's a result of post-processing on the original Kirin 9000 chip, while others consider TSMC as a potential manufacturer, albeit unlikely due to sanctions. SMI is another candidate, although its technology falls short of the required 5 nanometer standard. Alternatively, smaller Chinese foundries or Huawei's independent initiatives are also suggested possibilities. And in summary, the enigmatic origin of the Kirin 9000S chip adds intrigue to the Mate 60 Pro's story. While speculations abound, only time and official statements from Huawei will unveil the truth. This captivating narrative of innovation, resilience, and technological prowess is one that tech enthusiasts will continue to watch with bated breath. 
As the symphony of the tech industry plays on, Huawei's Mate 60 Pro has taken center stage, proving that even in the face of adversity, the company remains a force to be reckoned with, creating music that resonates across the globe. The unveiling of the Kirin 9000S chip is a testament to Huawei's determination to lead the way in smartphone technology. The industry eagerly awaits the next movement in this ongoing composition of innovation and competition.